All right, Captain, over and out. Hey, thanks for joining us on this journey into Winter Park, Florida. Tonight we're going to sail into the beautiful city Winter Park. We're gonna check out some great sounds by the Cook Trio in this amazing bar called the Red Light, Red Light. So stick around. Actually, you know what, better yet, why don't you hop on in and I'll take you guys there. Come on. All right, people, we're fast approaching the city of Winter Park, Florida, which is the epicenter of some great uh, music, some awesome restaurants, and uh, it's also a great place to live if you can afford to live here. It's uh, kind of expensive, but uh, we're not here about that. We're actually here to check out some music because this is what the show's about. It's, just, it's about being able to explore all the different sides of music as far as uh, all the four corners of the earth. And uh, tonight we're actually in this corner of the earth, Florida. Uh, checking out some music by the Cook Trio and uh, a lot of their music is basically inspired by Gypsy Jazz which is uh, if you've never heard of Django Reinhardt he is one of the I guess or he would be the founder of uh, that uh, Manouche Jazz or uh, you know Gypsy Jazz and um, great act there's a lot of people coming out to see them tonight and I will be one of them so stay tuned and check us out but... Winter Park is a city in Orange County, Florida with a population of over 28,000. It was founded as a resort destination by wealthy New England industrialists before the turn of the century. It includes spacious parks, art museums, a private liberal arts college, art galleries, and the ever so popular farmer's market, which brings out fresh local produce and goods for all to enjoy. It's no wonder why this charming little town with its brimming art and history appeals to an eclectic mix of residents and visitors alike. Now, if I could just sucker someone into adopting a 30-year-old nomad, well, maybe not. So for now, my journey continues. It's a beautiful day out here in Winter Park. I felt inspired by my surroundings, so I wanted to take out my guitar and just kind of have some alone time to be able to play some music, some ideas that have been rolling around in my head. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really great. So there's a lot of culture here in Winter Park, Florida. There's um, just a lot to see. There's a lot of musical venues that host some incredible music. There's a lot of really good food. There's a lot of cool people you can meet. And tonight we're going to meet some really cool people. and. I want you guys to come along this journey with me, so let's go. Cheers to you. Beep. Red Light, Red Light, the holy grail for specialty beer enthusiasts and music lovers in town. Tonight, we will meet with the Cook Trio's rhythm guitarist Ian Cook, lead guitarist Jason Cook, and bassist Kyle Jones to share their take on gypsy music. This is our first place we played, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so we, this is where we met Kyle here, actually. Playing. We'd, we'd only been playing a few months, and then Kyle came in, he had a, I don't know, how'd you hear about us? The internet? MySpace. Bought me a tape of Django in the original quintet. I wore that thing out. So yeah, that's. I mean, once yeah. I heard it, and it's. I think it's one of those. Like even if you don't really like, you're not really into jazz when you hear it. You're like, yeah, what is that? It's really unique. The audience only has so much patience for uh, this type of music. And any type of music doesn't have vocals. You know, it's hard for people to connect. And so it took it took a while for us to get a little better. So it, it's been like a, a big surprise to see people uh, come and clap and be engaged. And what's even more a surprise is to see young people. But for young people to like it, it's been hard, but I think we're starting to get through a little bit. <laughs> 
Gypsy Jazz is a term that has been said to have come from the Ferrer brothers in the 20s, but later became widely known due to the work of guitarist Jingle Reinhardt in the 30s. Like, I actually played here when it wasn't before it was really like, it was, uh... Balance one? Oh, yeah. It was Schaefer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was a totally different vibe. It was yeah. a, I always thought it was a cool place. Yeah, yeah. I always thought, uh, this style would be kind of universal. Yeah. It's just you can't find people to play it. So that's why I was really like, yeah, yeah. I'm get in on that. Cause it's kind of hard to describe what it is. You're like, oh, it's just yeah. Perhaps Kyle is right. How else would one describe the sort of music that embodies a blend of raw, passionate, exhilarating up-tempo, with its rhythm galore, fast chord progressions, and enough cinematic feel to remind you of an old 40s French flick? And this place serves as our point of pilgrimage for viewers and listeners alike to admire a piece of music history. Now that was a perfect example of getting pickled in public. Now let's meet the two guys who were responsible for this display of incoherent battle. Teach and David to share the history of this establishment. Uh, it's been uh, Red Light, Red Light uh, under that name and that, and that ownership of course, first name there, um, yeah. uh, for about two and a half years. Right before it became Red Light, Red Light, it was uh, Battle And Before that it was a restaurant called Schaefer's. Yeah. And of course before that um, it was uh, hotel for a while. It was actually sort of a, a hotel with a shady reputation. What does he mean by that? This, this is the oldest building in the neighborhood that's still standing in the original foundation, so it's pretty cool. I mean, the only specialty beer bar around, so I mean, every beer connoisseur in the whole area is going to come here. So I think RateBeer.com rated them number four in the world. Wow, number four in the world. Now that's a very impressive feat considering the plethora of bars in this nation. But as always, when you have a venue with a winning combination of exceptional beer and music, you just can't go wrong. Anyways folks, this is uh, Winter Park, Florida, the cultural center for Greater Orlando. You have the Red Light Red Light, you have the Cook Trio, you have Park Avenue, you have great food, you have good music, you have, you have it all. Can't beat that. Can you? Huh? No. Now you know where to come and seek out great beer, great music, and most of all, great, no, ah, you thought I was going there. You know what? I'm drunk. I need to get some more beer before they close. So thank you guys for watching. We're going to go. Cheers.